So welcome to the first edition of eBike News by eBike Product. And I'm going to be trying something a little different. And I'm sorry if this kind of seems a little uh, maybe not so put together, but I just really wanted to get something out there that uh, that maybe some people might be interested in, especially if you're going into the e-bike industry and you're kind of new to it, or if you're looking for a bike. This is the kind of stuff that I wish I had known prior to me starting on my research. And I would wanted to just go ahead and actually express some of the concerns I have about the e-bike industry, especially for those of you who are still deciding on what bike you want to get. Because first and foremost, if you are not aware of it yet, there is a huge e-bike supply chain issue. Um, it is already starting and the ripple effect is already being felt throughout the industry, but it's only going to get worse. And I wanted to bring up some of the things that are going on. So since March 5th, all the way up until um, about two or three days ago, I was getting, I signed up for every single one of the different e-bike companies mailing lists, the, especially the big ones. Uh, the Aventon, Bolton, Rad Rover, uh, Electric, Saunders, all of them. I get I get all of their their uh, newsletters, and everybody's starting to talk about, or the, all the the email newsletters that are coming out are beginning to talk about the problem with the tariffs actually being um, no longer. They used to exclude e-bikes from the tariffs of 25% that was coming in. And all of a sudden now they're actually going to have to pay these extra 25% tariffs, which means e-bike prices have started to already climb. Uh, for those of you who have saw my first comparison video, I had this up here with the different prices. Now, one thing that's really interesting is Juiced uh, is also one that sent an email out that I didn't mention earlier, but their prices have all started to, to go up. And um, Saunders is one that has actually avoided. I haven't seen their prices go up yet. They're still at the $16.99, but you know, the Aventon bikes, they sent out an email. This was at $14.99, so there's gone up $200 for this particular bike. Um, by the way, if you didn't hear some of my earlier announcements about Aventon, one of the big downfalls, a lot of my reviews, that, uh, or if you watched a lot of e-bike reviews about the Aventon brand, is that they used to actually half their throttles only work after a half turn cycle of the pedal and so there wasn't a throttle on demand and now all the event in bikes as of march 1st have now throttle on demand so that's one thing that's really cool but keep in mind um their prices are going up so if you're looking for a Venton, that's going to be something that you want to keep in mind uh, also now uh, bolton has also raised their prices as you can see here it was 21.99 for the base price now, their um, Blackbirds are at $24.99 and of course Summer Delivery. I'm going to be talking about the delays as well coming through on this. Rad Rover, uh, as you can see in the price here, $14.99 is now at $15.99. So they're gone up $100 as well uh, on their bikes. And we have uh, the one bike that I think I really want to bring to light that has not gone up yet is the electric XP. In fact, when the first when the bikes first came out, they were $9.99 and they've been on sale for $8.99 for quite a while. Um, must be, I'd say almost close to a year now. But at this $8.99 price, I have a strong suspicion it'll probably go back up to the $9.99 price because they're not excluded from the 25% uh, tariff also being put into play, especially in the it's here in the United States. So keep in mind, if you're looking for a bike, I would actually get it now. If you're looking on the forum boards, you'll see that they're having this long delays. Now it's a two month delay. It didn't used to be as long. I mean, I got mine in three to four weeks, so it depends if they have it in stock or not. But um, yeah, the step throughs are actually becoming very popular with among a lot of people and you're going to start to see delays. If you're looking for one of these, I'd say place your order as soon as possible. And just so you know also, if you are looking for a seat post on one of these electric XPs, I do sell them on the uh, ebikeproducts.com website slash shop, or you just go to there, you can click on the shop link. We have a suspension seat posts that fit these bikes perfectly. And, you know, check the channel out for the other videos on that. But I just want to bring that to play. I only have at the time of this video, eight in stock of the black and I am going to get a replenishment, but they're actually going to have a red top on them. And I'll, I'll talk more about that later. But for now, just know the electric XPs, these are the most popular bikes. I think I counted, I mean, figured out it's close to like 14,000 bikes a year is what they're selling. And that could be one of the reasons why they have their prices still lower. Maybe they have enough already beating the tariff before it comes in. I'm not sure. But um, just know that that's actually also 
going to affect probably electric bikes, uh, XP bikes as well. Uh, it's, it just can't be helped. They, they're, all of these companies are going to have to go and take that. The other thing that's coming up right now that you need to know is the delays. Okay, so this is actually from March 22nd. That was yesterday. This news, you know, the port of L uh, Long Beach ports or NLA, port of LA, they're just getting a flood of containers coming in right now. Um, you know, as you can see, this port it jumped 50%. So uh, over last year, this is a ton that's coming in. Also, early in January, they had about 800 dock workers come down with COVID. And then by February, I think it was down to either six or 300 workers, but still a lot of workers that are unable to unload these ships. So there's a whole slew of ships. And this is another news that actually was on March 1st, I believe. On March 3rd, this picture was taken. And there are so many ships sitting out in the water anchoring that they ran out of places for, for anchoring spots. Like they ran out of parking spaces while they're waiting. There's like two to three weeks wait in line and it's close to like 30 ships and you know one of these ships can hold up to you know the larger ones can hold up to 200,000 containers that's a lot of cargo so there's millions of containers that are actually sitting unable to come in i work for a company that said that we are um, stuck i think waiting on 70 to 80 containers that were delayed somewhere between uh, the, the ports to get checked in they didn't even know when it was going to be put in because there's so much backup so that's causing also more delay in um, bikes to come in as well so even though the bikes were already scheduled to come in they could not have foreseen how much delay there was going to be at the ports we're having issues there so there is a small urgency to start thinking about if you're going to get a bike or thinking about buying it you might want to think about putting an order in sooner than later the other things that's going to accelerate this problem is the nice weather that we're starting to have in the united states as far as warming up ride weather uh, with a lot of snow in the past, there are a lot of people who don't usually go ahead and the, the season for buying bikes usually slows down during the winter. But now that spring's coming around, we are seeing snow melt and we are seeing that the weather is more rideable, especially here in California, we're seeing that. And that means that people are starting to look for bikes. So the other issue that's going to start coming up as well is uh, people now have a little more money with the stimulus checks that just came out within the last week or so that are still flowing. Uh, those people who maybe don't need or still are employed that still got stimulus checks that's going to stimulate the economy they're going to start to order bikes as well if that's what they're looking forward to to doing the other thing that's also going to cause probably this increase i look hard at the financial markets every day uh, that's another one of my hobbies other than e-bikes is finances and what's going on in the market real estate everything else for investing and you know this is the last six months if you look at the price of oil in california it's very obvious i mean it cost me an extra i think 15 dollars to fill up my tank right now than it did you know just a few months ago so with oil prices going up gas going up people are also going to start for uh, look to other ways to to commute if possible i mean i'm going to be as soon as i get my blackbird i'm going to be using that bike to commute as much as possible as well because the weather's going to be nice and it's going to save me on gas as well i mean that's a, a good 30 miles well, it's, it's about a gallon a day. I don't have to worry about if I'm commuting with my e-bike. So that's another reason. A lot of people who use state public transportation will be also looking for bikes because still vaccinations are still, I think we're at 10% of the population is not vaccination. And there's still quite a ways to go as well for that. So we're also going to be looking at a demand that's going to start to skyrocket starting now. I mean, we're already beginning to see it. People are going back to work. Things are opening up. Uh, in California, a lot more of the counties are now beginning to hit levels where uh, we can now have uh, theaters starting to open up as well. And I just noticed even on the streets, traffic is, I was sent back to work in the office about three weeks ago. And that's going to be a common thing that's happening continuously. So kids are going to be going back to school. So we're going to be seeing a whole bunch of things start opening up, which means people will be leaving their homes. And bicycles or e-bikes will be one way that they're going to be looking to to commute. So keep that in mind as another thing that's going to be affecting uh, what's moving forward with not only prices because all of transportation. I mean, when oil prices go up, then also shipping costs go up. So the other thing is raw material prices are going up. So the seat post that I had brought in originally to sold, like I said, I only have a few left at the time of this. Probably by the end of the week, I will be out and it will be taken down off the website until I get the next shipment in but even when i called just two weeks ago they had already said that the raw material cost to make the seat post have gone up which means it's the same materials that they're actually making a lot of the bike parts on if you think about it 
to make a frame takes a lot more so those costs are going up as well and this is across the board in china the suppliers are all saying that all their raw materials or costs are going up so the seat pole price is going to go up i have changed some of the shipping i'm hoping that i'm going to get some a, a break on the cost of the, the shipping so maybe i can keep the prices where it's at but i anticipate that i will not be able to go ahead and maintain that price you know to make the small margin that's already there the other thing is that I, when I asked for a, if I could get larger quantities to bring down the price on it, one, they said that there just wasn't a way to go in and bring it down. I was already ordering the, the minimums that could bring down the price. But the other thing is they said the larger order that I wanted to put in next off of this, whatever they had left in their warehouses, would not be available for another two months. So even just the bike post is already running short. So we are seeing, it's, it's not necessarily what I guess... Our government is calling inflation but we are seeing price increases and it's because of a whole bunch of other factors in this industry specifically i'm seeing prices increase all over the place but in our industry the e-bike industry this is the news that i thought you know i should really tell people if anybody's waiting or on the fence about it especially because I know there's a lot of uh, people doing research on the electric XP bikes because you know a lot of my channel has that so if they do a search for it on, uh, on YouTube my my videos do come up a lot if you're in, in the market for it, the prices have not gone up yet. The delay times are a little longer, but I would highly recommend if that's a bike that you're looking to put your order in now. Okay, just keep that in mind because I don't know how they're going to avoid the 25% tax increase without increasing their prices and getting hit on their margins. Um, the other supply chain shortage issues that's out there. Now, I believe with electric being so far ahead of the game as far as the amount of volume that they're doing, they probably did have larger orders put in than sm some of the smaller uh, companies out there so for instance my blackbird has was ordered back in june it's already been nine months it should be hopefully here within the next couple weeks because uh, mine is in the next shipments already in the united states but there were a lot of delays on the parts i mean you, they couldn't ship a bike out with just maybe a brake part that was not you can't ship a bike 95 percent ready to the supply i mean to the, the seller to sell without brakes and that's one of the things that's a big shortage on is uh texture brakes uh i I'm going to start to also see this is a already something I'm forecasting. I'm already seeing in some of the smaller companies, but whatever they put on their website as what their certain parts is, they're going to have disclaimers saying that due to supply issues, you may get other parts. And one of the delays with the Blackbird was the forks. They just didn't have the right forks. When they got another one in, there was a delay in getting those in. It was an upgrade, but then again, the other parts were also still not delayed on that. So even though the Blackbirds even got here, they actually air freighted the rest uh, later. So I guess just to get it on the water, which was kind of smart on, on the smaller dealers. They're just getting it on the water, getting it here, and then they can just airship it. It's going to cost them more, but to get the bikes here faster because of all the port delays, you know, they get it, get most of it here, and if they can air freight the rest, they'll do that. And that's some of the other things that are going on there. So you're going to see these part changes. You're going to see some things, and you're going to have to accept what's coming in at that point. Um, even the accessory prices, like I said, are all increasing across the board for certain areas that's coming in. And another thing that I haven't heard yet hitting our industry, but there are some sophisticated computers or processing that is done on the electric bikes for especially torque sensors and brakes and um, the speed to the motor controllers, all of that that's getting put together. There is a massive computer chip shortage. So even auto manufacturers right now are actually cutting back on their manufacturing goals for the year because they just don't have the microchips that are needed to go ahead and run the brains of the lot of cars. And I haven't heard this yet about the bike industry. Maybe it's not such a big deal yet, but if our bikes actually are using the same type of microchips that are being used in other in cars, you know, maybe the smaller, um, there's a supply issue for that. Uh, I was looking deeper into it to see how bad this issue is. One of the biggest and the major manufacturer of chips is in Taiwan and they're having a drought. And you think, well, what does drought have to do with uh, making chips? Well, I guess the factory uses about a quarter of the country's water just to make these chips because it's such a big part of their their income or the government allows them to do that. But with now with uh, drought issues that are coming up, we may even see a shortage even um, accelerate on that point too. So... That is basically the industry. It's, it didn't mean to sound like such a, 
a downer on what's going on, but I did want to say, you know, based on what I'm seeing, I don't know if people are knowing that this is happening. I mean, the, the most of the biggest ma major fat tire manufacturers are all putting these emails out saying they have no choice. They have to go ahead and increase their prices. And so we're starting to see that happen. I have not uh, gotten any of the specialized emails that's talking about maybe their price increased or Giant or Trek, you know, those, those three big brands as well, seeing that. But they all use the same parts. Derailers are a shortage issue right now. Uh, Shimano just can't make enough. And one of the guess the issues is they are not making machines to go ahead and make this they don't want to spend the millions of dollars to go ahead and make the machine that'll pump more of these out if they don't know if the trend is going to hold long enough now i'm hoping that they're going to see that this is something that's going to be worth the investment but i don't know how long it takes them to make a machine to go ahead and do that so that's part of the industry news that i want to bring up i also just want to thank everybody for all of their support to this channel and i'd love to hear what you think did this is this useful news is there more stuff that i can talk about i mean the other thing i want to talk about is the different transmissions that are out there now i, I mean there's now variable transmissions that um, have been out for a while but not really shown too much and i guess a lot of new riders don't realize that you can get a bike that you don't have to fiddle around with shifting now that's another thing i'm going to start to anticipate or predict is that higher priced bikes will probably be more readily available than the lower price because they use higher end parts which a lot of the low end bikes all below fifteen hundred dollars all use kind of the same parts and thus where the shortage is happening where you have your higher end bikes that use higher grade derailleurs shifters and everything else and it kind of prices other people out of the market but those will be the only things left and available if you want a bike now um, I'm not big on saying to uh, on getting uh, on using an e-bike uh, as a source that that will put you into debt. Uh, I would say avoid that at all costs. Just because the way the economy is right now, that's probably not where you want to be. But if you have the means and you know you're looking for a bike and you're looking for something that you don't want to have to deal with as far as maintenance goes, less maintenance would be one of these other higher end bikes. But then again, I also am really big on you know if you can support your local bike shops and they have it in stock there or you know the venton bikes are actually sold in a lot of different shops uh throughout the united states those are good sources to go ahead and pick up bikes to support the local economy that you have there i'm all about if you can fix something yourself you know and you, you feel comfortable with it then go ahead and do it but if not have a professional do it if you want it done right so i'm also going to be doing other videos on you know just different things that i'm seeing in the industry that's pretty darn cool that i thought everybody should know about so like i said e-bike news and industry news Give it a thumbs up if you liked what you heard. If there's anything that you would like to hear more about uh, in the industry news, I love doing research on stuff when people are asked. This content is coming up because of what people have been asking in the comments. I so love the engagement that I'm getting. I apologize now. The channel has kind of really exploded over the last two weeks that I'm not able to keep up as much as I thought I could with the comments, but I'm trying. I read every comment as much as possible, and those that I can answer fast, I do. If I'm taking longer to answer some of your comments, it's maybe because I'm doing some research on it. I mean, I'm hearing some new brands that are out there that you might want to check out. All of the different brands, though, are talking about these long delays that are coming in. So just know that that's something that's happening in the industry. If you can choose between two different colors and one is in stock, you might want to go ahead. Even if it's not the most desirable color for you, you might want to still pick it up because the other one might be really long delayed. And you don't want to miss the whole summer for riding. Uh, so... Uh, I hope you like this. This is, again, the first chapter of the e-bike industry news by e-bike products. If, uh, if there's anything that um, you can share with others in the comments below, that's very helpful as well. And I appreciate it if you subscribe. It's been really growing. We're also going to be doing some giveaways for uh, some products that have come in from some of the vendors that I've reached out to to see, hey, if you can do... Um, if you want me to go ahead and do reviews, I'd love to review some of your products. And these are stuff that uh, these are products that I would want to buy anyway. and But I like reaching out to them and, and seeing what they're willing to offer. And what they offer is giveaways. So stay tuned for the videos that are coming in the future and uh, look out for the giveaways that we're having on that as well. Thank you guys again so much for your support. I will see you guys in the next video.